Hello everyone, welcome to Knob Talk. See you guys in a second. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Hello again everyone, welcome to Knob Talk. Today we're going to talk about is picking the correct name. The correct name does not have to be spelled correctly. Scene? Sean. <laughs> Come on, guys. There are many ways to spell it. No, Sean is spelled S H W N. Duh. <laughs> A lot of people will tell you that, oh, this is not spelled out as it is in the dictionary. Well, tell those people, so isn't Lyft. So understand, your brand has to be a brand identity, not a word. Whatever word you choose, you can mix it and match it in any way you choose to. That is what is true to your brand. So it's building a brand. Understand that. The name has to reflect the business or the business sense. Less it will cost if your business matches your name more it will cost if your brand is a totally different name and you're trying to advertise it. Because then what you're doing is you're advertising a business that has nothing to do with the name. You're trying to associate that business with that name. So picking the name is very crucial. You have to pick something short, something that is rememberable, and something that can be turned into a logo. So check what the greats have done. Check how Facebook, instead of spelling the whole Facebook out, it has an F and everybody recognizes that symbol. You have to make a symbol and the name has to be short and simple to follow. Just like Lyft, Uber, See how small and practical the names are? So understanding what your business is, understanding your why, you gotta press to understanding how you're gonna name it. You can select names, look up the dictionary, something that is familiar with your business and it's easy to follow. Do not make it complicated. What people do is, whoa, Greece, this word meant this but you're doing it in the United States. Nobody knows what Greece word meant unless you're from Greece. So make sure the name reflects the business and it's easy to follow. It doesn't have to be spelled correctly. You can change the I to a Y. You can change the E to the Y or you can change a Y to EY. So understanding that symbol and understanding that periodic, you gotta make sure that you choose a name that is also available on online, website, domain. You make sure that you purchase your .com. Now the .coms, you will not find something easy and simple available unless you come up with something easy and simple that is available. Most of them are taken. So usually they use two words, um, a lot of times now you use three words. So you have to brainstorm. So that has to reflect your name and make a symbol that reflects your logo. Logo has to be simple and clear and make sure that everybody knows what your brand is. Because that logo, if it changes, let's say you get a logo, you make it, um, you're going through the motion, and you think, oh, it's not that good of a logo. Let me change it. You have just lost all those people that were following you. And it's true. Ticker symbols are good for stock. Symbols, logos are effective for business. Logo and the name reflects one. Make sure that you're not separating them. Make sure they're always attached to each other. 
even if you change your logo and your name's the same, you just lost a lot of people because they don't understand that. People are simple. People are like children. People have no mind. There is no common sense. Understand that. The people you're advertising to, make sure you're advertising and marketing to people as if they're the most dumbest, dumbed down people in the world. Because exactly, you have to dumb your advertisement down so people understand it. No matter what grade they are, no matter what grade they are, no matter what level their intelligence is, people are consumers and consumers consume while we give them the content to consume to make sure that you understand who your audience are. And that's why you gotta understand how your logo and your symbols and your name affect your business. You can give the best service, but people will forget if you change your logo. They'll think it's a brand new company just by changing logo. If you look at the grades, even Pepsi has changed their logo, but they kept it similar. And they haven't changed it like periodically. They get the brand going, brand going, and do this whole campaign, and then they change their name. They, they keep the same colors, the same concept. It's just a little change, which brings them just, they just update the logo, not change the logo. They update the logo. Understand that concept. You must have everything that's similar. Everything got to be similar to the previous logo. If on time, you're going to change the logo a little bit. You're upgrading the logo, not changing it. Understand that part. And any advertisement you see, let's say, now Reebok, let's take Reebok. Everybody was associated with Reebok's symbol being, with, you know, like that, like lines and stuff, right? People associated with Reeboks. Now when Adidas bought them, um, they have pushed them to the side and now they even changed their logo to this uh, a Pentagon triangle or something. That is not Reebok. Now it's just a totally different company. Even though it says Reebok, people do not associate Reebok with that Reebok. So that is considered to be a dramatic change to what it used to be and it is now. So making sure you pick the correct name that you have the website for, that you make the Facebook account for, that you have the Instagram for, that you have the Twitter for, and a simple, simple, symbol that you can have as a logo. Make sure you keep it simple. Understand how the logos work. If you do not know how to make a logo, please hire somebody to make your logo. Even pay a thousand dollars. It doesn't matter. Long as you end up with a logo that will be remembered for a lifetime. Thanks for watching Off Talk. Hope to see you guys again. And make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and share this video with somebody that needs it.